uh, replace the spark plugs and the ignition wires and the distributor cap on this uh, 1996 Jeep Cherokee. I'm just gonna get a video of where they're going. This looks like it's number one. So that'll be here next to the machining, uh, compressor hose. All right, so then this next one loops back around, I think to four, this should be uh, two. Uh, this is the one that this is the one that loops down to uh, right here to plug into the ignition coil. So this is one, two, this should be three. So what does that do? Loop back around here to three. So then that's four. Actually saw so loops back around to here. Then this four, uh, this will be five. So that goes over to right here. And then this should be six. And that goes all the way to the back. Yeah, there it is. All right, uh, I've got a diagram of this. Um, so it's four, five, six, skipping, and one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. And of course that goes to the quill pack. So let's uh, start removing the plugs first. Okay, well here's the plug from the number one cylinder. Actually, it doesn't look too bad. Uh, but I've got new ones and I'm just gonna go ahead and replace them. Now I've checked the gap on all of these. They should be uh, 0.35 and uh, the gaps on all these were uh, just fine. So the old plugs didn't look terrible, but I just wanted to uh, go ahead and replace them. It has 325,000 miles on it and I have no idea when the uh, plugs were initially installed. The new plugs will be uh, torqued to 27 foot pounds right there. So one and two, um, relatively short, and they go through these first two. Or they, sorry, they go through the bottom and the top. So this was one, and this was two. So this is four, and it goes through here and loops back around, whereas three, sort of doing the complementary Thing on the other side three should be one two three three is the middle one right here so it's going in the middle back here and looping around so we just need to remember that four does kind of the mirror image looping around that three does for this last one because of that wiring loom I'm using an articulated joint there to uh, get it out, but it's coming just fine. I don't know how that's going to affect the torque settings, but we'll do our best. Okay, all the spark plugs, all the spark plugs are in. Now I'm going to take the distributor cap off uh, by removing these two screws on it, uh, either side of it. I don't know if you can see them. Uh, there's one on that side, one on this side. Notice as we take this off, there's a uh, a tab on this thing that's in the front. That tab right there. It'll go in the front. Okay, there's the distributor cap. I'm gonna get the uh, try to pull it off with all the hoses on it so I can put the correct hoses in the right place. So, be right back. The distributor actually doesn't look too bad, and it looks like it may be brass, so this could be aftermarket. Let's go set it down and put the new wires on it. This will be our short one. Um, let's put the new wires on the new distributor. Here's our new uh, rotor. So I'm just going to pull the old one out. 
right here. It's probably fine, but uh, I'm just gonna put the new one in. Here's our new one. It's got a groove in it that fits in this slot, so there's only one way it can go on. Okay, so we got the new one in place, new rotors in. Um, now let's work on the distributor. And that's the new distributor cap. You can see it's pretty much the same thing as the existing. So we'll go ahead and start putting the, putting the wires on. This is the spark plug wire set that I got. All right, here's the wire that's gonna go to the ignition coil. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that on the ignition coil now. So I'm really just remembering this as one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So one is about that long. This looks like about the right length for one. So click that into place. Four is another longish one. It's got a straight end to it. So that looks right. So that's four. Now, two looks like that. So that's four, five, six. So six was another long one with an L. Um, that one that looks good for six so one two three three is a long one with a straight so it's got a remember how it winds around three winds around and comes back to three the way that these this thing kind of winds that way and goes into three. So that's three. And then uh, four, five. So five is uh, my last one. Kind of short and straight. It's about, the, it's about the right length. It might be a little short. Let's see, what's the other one look like? So I wonder. If this one for two, one for two looks like it's probably the one for five. The one I had on two, this one, oh yeah, definitely. That's the one that should be for two. So there we go. Let's reinstall this. Remember, this went up front, okay? Just like this. So this is how it's going to go in the vehicle. Then we will wind them all back around. Okay, got it installed with two new screws. So now we'll just hook everything back up. I've already plugged the ignition coil in. Okay, we'll do final checks now. This is the lightning, or the uh, ignition coil, I should say. This should be one, and it goes to one. This is two. And it's hard to see, but it goes up here to two. This is four, and it wraps around under here and goes to four. We should probably bring that around there. All right, that's four. Okay. This is uh, four. So one, two, three. This one's three. That wraps around, comes back to three. These two kind of do a crisscross. This is four, five. This number five wraps around right here and goes to five. And then this is six, which goes straight over to six cylinder. So everything's in place. Got the distributor cap on tight, new rotors inside. So everything should work. Let's fire it up. Started right up and working great. 
Well, thanks for watching.